uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Channel I'm Bushkin. Today, we're going to be having a look at the Orge 4. What's good about it? What's changed in update 2.2? And a lot has changed. And I'm, I must apologize for being so slow to get this stuff done. My missus had a knee reconstruction, not a reconstruction, knee replacement. And I was kind of the boy Friday and uh, the patch happened at exactly that time. So all the normal stuff that I just nail and everyone knows the stats straight away. Well, that didn't happen until very recently. Uh, the org got buffed. It got buffed a lot. The, the problem with the org has always been that it's not really perceived as being a true crate weapon because it's preferred most people prefer the m416 which is an oversight before the buff like the orc has better recoil than the m416 has better rate of a uh, better bullet velocity than the m416 uh and has just been an all-round more stable gun platform but what it has never really done is differentiate itself enough to be worth pulling out of a crate instead of say a Graza or a Mark 14 or an MG3 or an M249 back in the day. This is not the gun pre-update 2.2 that was renowned for being a CQC beast. Well, that's all gonna change. The Scar all got buffed in update 2.1 and it was always on the cards that you were gonna get the org buffed after that because really you couldn't have the org with the crate drop weapon of the 5.56 AR family having less damage than the Scar L and they buffed both the base damage and the rate of fire. The old rate of fire was 638 rounds per minute. The new rate of fire is 740 rounds per minute. That's a 14% flat increase on rate of fire on the weapon, which straight away tells you that they're serious about turning this into a crate monster. And I tested all this both on the range and in rooms with uh, members of the Patreon community. So thank you to them for allowing me to do the testing and for giving us this great info. So I've already done the recall testing and we'll get to that in just a short while, but the buff didn't stop there. Oh, no, no, no. The good news wasn't just short. It was also sweet. Um, there was a 5% rate of fire of uh, damage buff from 40.9 to 43, which is 2.1, which is a big buff. And coupled with that 14% decrease in rate of fire, that gives you a time to kill of 0.243. And it puts it in some pretty elite company. And we'll get to that in just a second. Now, I already tested the recoil on these weapons. The blue line is horizontal recoil. The red line is vertical recoil, okay? You can see very, very clearly that the Org has the best recoil of any of the 5.56 ARs that we see here that are the normal well drops. And I tested this by plotting the individual bullet marks from the same distance with a red dot as all three weapons and came up with these numbers. It's always had better recoil. Now it has a better rate of fire, a better base damage, and truly is an absolute monster. Why has this buff been necessary? Well, this is the old dead horse that I've been all the time. This is the Skyrill and the M416. They are so common and so I mean, you, everyone runs the M416. And PUBG Mobile have heat maps for this stuff. So they see both who's running the gun, at what point in the game the gun's being run, and uh, what it's being picked up, dropped for and such. And they see all this and they think, well, the whole player base is basically using the M416. We're either going to have to nerf the M416 or buff everything else to get it happening. And it's no surprise we're seeing AK buffs, Scarrell buffs, uh, Mini-14 buffs, DMR buffs, Bolt Action Rifle buffs, SMG buffs, and nothing happens to the M416. So you've now got a gun that does all the stuff that the M4 and the Scarrell do. It does it faster. It does it more damage. It does it with more damage. And it's in a crate. And if you are sleeping on the org and you are now not picking it up in crates, you're out of your mind because this thing is still doing 937 meters a second with the best recoil in the 5.56 AR family outside of maybe the G36C. And yet, it's so much more damaging and is so much faster to fire. And the reason I can't freaking get enough footage on this thing is because everyone keeps picking it up now out of a crate. 
other people are starting to come to the party and realize everything you can see me doing here with the Scarrel and the M4, you can do better with an Orc. And that is an absolutely amazing situation to be in. That the Orc has finally, after five years, become the preeminent 5.56 AR you can't argue with. It kicks the crap out of the Scarrel. It kicks the crap out of the M416. It kicks the crap out of the G36C. It is the unequivocal 100% Ayatollah of rock and roller and should not be left in a crate. If you are addicted to the M416, there is no reason that you shouldn't be addicted to the bloody orb. I hate screen lock. I hate screen lock. I hate screen lock. And it happens so often when I'm running this gun. Anyway, I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Short and very, very sweet. The Org A4, a weapon that you should be running day in, day out, and five times on Sunday. If you haven't run it before, do yourself a favor and give it a shot. And don't listen to the idiots that tell you that the M416 is a better weapon. They don't know what they're talking about. Until next time, love your work. And don't forget to subscribe, like the videos, and do all that kind of thing. That'll be, uh, be a lot more popping up. We're doing an SKS video, a Mini 14 video, a coaching video. There's all kinds of things coming your way. So anyway, uh, love your work and uh, bye for now.